I'm out traveling my city today and we will see where all I end up. There's two Indian restaurants and actually both of them are really good. One is Masala and one is Love Curry. So I went to Masala today for the buffet. I always feel so shy because like I kind of know Hindi. I mean I know it but I'm not very good at it and I've gotten way worse and so I'm super shy. Then I wanted to ask for like the specific plate thing I wanted to draw and so when I asked for it uh, I was just like <laughs> I was so shy. And I asked them for like their tali dishes so I could like draw uh, from that, draw the dishes. The first connection is a little off but I'm still happy with it. But yeah so I went there and then I'm actually at the Kennewick uh, uh, Winco. Which I will come back someday and I've been challenged to do, uh, go through and just see how many languages I find. I don't know if I'll make a video or if I'll just do it for fun and then like, uh, maybe vlog or write about it or something in response to it. But I think it's a great place because there really are tons and tons and tons of different cultures and people here um, from different places all over the world. So I think it's possible that I will next go to, uh, the Asian store and take some photographs. So we'll see if I do that or not. And then I went to, so there's four Asian stores I think that are still open. There's one that I've gone to and she wasn't uh, really up for me taking photographs at all. So I just kind of like, I've been in there before. I bought stuff from her before, but today I was, I wanted to work and do artwork and respond to different cultures. And she wasn't really excited about that. I don't know what branch of, a like what Asian it is. Like, I don't know what culture it is. But it's not Japanese or Chinese. Like, I was looking for a dessert that was specifically Chinese, and I was like, can you help me with it? They're like, uh... <laughs> and they really had no idea what desserts were Chinese. And they finally gave me one. They're like, yeah, 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 this is Chinese. And it was for our Chinese friend who was living with us, and I gave it to him, and he's like, this is more Japanese. I was like, I tried my best! <laughs> so, um, but he suggested the Asian store in Pasco. So I did go to the other one, and I, I bought uh, several things. So I'll show you what I got there. I have some other footage from one of the other Asian stores as well that was really fun. And then uh, there's a actual Chinese man named Ming. We had a really interesting conversation. I asked him about Josh, Josh paper. And I've heard of it before. I know that they burn it in different like ceremonies and things. Um, a lot of times at funerals, they'll bury it. Uh, but I wanted to use it in collaging. Uh, so that'd be a really fun, just, like pretty collage paper. And I have some other, but it's all the same. This one has like six different designs, six different patterns and colors in it. So I'm super excited about that. And you'll probably see this show up somewhere. I don't know where yet, uh, what the piece will be like at all, but I'm really excited. And then I got Jasmine tea. Jasmine is my favorite, my favorite, 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 favorite. Actually, my favorite flavor ever is Jasmine rose and mint combined. Ah, oh, everything about it. Wonderful. Uh, maybe I have other flavor flavors. I don't know. I'm gonna say jasmine, mint, and rose. And then I got a uh, mochi cake. Uh, are they actually cakes? Uh, taro mochi. And I've tried these. These are the things I got for my Chinese friend that, but I have an idea for, I really want to draw these on a platter, like a rectangular platter. So I'm gonna plate them and then do a drawing or a painting of them. So that's why I got them, because I want to paint them. And I picked the one with the box that had the prettiest, like, flower pattern on it. And so that's how I picked the flavor was the box. Uh, I am a graphic designer, I am an artist, I do buy things based on packaging. Things. I will actually be back there again because there's more that I want to buy. I want to get, I want to get, uh, I've wanted this for a long time, but the teacups that you drink, like just the teapot and the teacup, they're really cute together. If I can find it, I should have footage from the Chinese garden and the Japanese gardens in Portland. But I have good pictures of them there. I want one, I should find the right one though, and I don't know if the store has one in person, but I want like probably like a black with either bamboo or like red flowers on it or like the deep red and then a, like a dark gray. So thanks for watching guys. I am loving this Travel My City project challenge. There's been several people who have like challenged me to go do different things and have asked me really good questions about like why I'm doing it, what it means, why it's important and I think these are great questions so I'm hoping to make, I'm planning to make some videos based on those questions and those challenges in the future. Not everything will be video though. A lot of it will be just in my sketchbook and I'll probably go through my sketchbook eventually. And then I will have an exhibition in February. So that's kind of the goal is the exhibition. The videos and everything else are just kind of fun, play, see what I get. Hopefully I get some great videos though. I think there's a few that I have, I'm hoping to plan out that should be good. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, I will be doing Travel Your City 
sporadically, I guess, for now, um, for the next few months. I make art videos on Tuesdays and play around creative videos on weekends and a talk video on Thursdays quite often. So it, um, that schedule is not set in stone. I can vary it whenever I want, but that's my goal is uh, uh, one to three videos a week. So thanks guys and I will see you around.